In this section, we're going to use what we've learned so far to build an interactive dashboard with Shiny and ggplot2. In this video, we're going to see what we want the dashboard to look like and what we need to build it. Any data analysis starts with some exploration. With large data sets, it's not practical to generate all possible graphs between variables in advance. Rather, we want to be able to produce graphs on demand. An interactive dashboard allows the user to explore the data quickly and easily. We're going to build a dashboard to produce graphs from a few economic indicators from the World Bank. First, let's see the final result. Open R Studio. Make sure you are in the folder section 8 and launch the Shiny app dashboard with Shiny colon colon run app dashboard. The dashboard has two tabs, time series and bubble chart. In the first tab, the user selects an economic indicator and sees its evolution through time for nine countries. For example, CO2 emissions in tons per capita. The user can also plot on log scale if they think it's appropriate. The second tab contains a bubble chart, which shows three indicators at once, on the x-axis, on the y-axis, and by the size of the bubble. Each tab has different controls, a drop-down menu and a checkbox for the time series, and two drop-down menus and a slider for the bubble chart. To build a dashboard, we're going to need a function that produces a time series plot, a function that produces a bubble chart, and a way to change the user interface depending on which tab is active. The controls are different in the two tabs. Based on what we've learned so far, we are set to build an interactive dashboard with Shiny and ggplot2. In the next video, we'll see how to build a time series plot.